What's up guys, so this is a continuation of the head gasket job that I'm doing on my 96 Accord. Um, right here is my intake which I pulled back to get the head off and I think I'm going to actually take the intake all the way off just so I can clean it up and paint it and you know just make it look nice um, just while I'm waiting around for the head get for the uh, cylinder head to be machined. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of vacuum lines that connect, there's the throttle cable, uh, the fuel rail, so I'm going to try to unbolt the fuel rail and pop the injectors out, um, and that way I could just lay that over to the side, and then I'm going to go ahead and take off, there's like a bunch of hoses on it, and vacuum lines and stuff, and I'm just going to go around, probably take a few pictures of everything, and just so I remember where things go, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the whole thing apart and try to get it off and on the bench. So I'll let you guys know what I end up disassembling, but yeah, I'm gonna get to work. So I did get the fuel rail off. Um, I have it bungeed up here, keeps it nice and out of the way. But you can see those three big studs sticking out. There's three nuts on there. And then uh, mine popped out relatively easily, but these injectors do look pretty grimy. So I end up cleaning those. Um, you know, it can't hurt to clean them up, improve the flow. I'm going to take this bracket off for the throttle cable. I'm not even going to mess with the adjustment screws there. Just take it right off the intake, and then I should be able to pull it out of there. And uh, there's a few other hoses. I disconnected some vacuum lines over here, and there was a wiring harness plugged into that little, uh, or not plugged in, but snapped in with a plastic clip into that little bracket there. Pop that out. Um, I think there's a 10 on another wiring harness that I'm going to detach. And just some other various hoses all the way around. I'm just working my way around this thing and I'm uh, going to pull it off. So I did get the intake out right here. Um, not too bad, honestly. It was, it was relatively easy. Um, things you're going to probably forget are there's a couple of 12 millimeter bolts that go up from the bottom. I'll show you guys that on the car. but. Yeah, just unplug everything, you know, there's something to unplug back here. And uh, this, there's a hose down here where this one goes, there's another one. Um, so just cooling hoses on the back and stuff like that, just don't forget about. And those two holes that I was talking about, uh, those 12 millimeters are here and here. And they hold this whole wiring harness to the back of the intake. So don't forget about that. They're easy to get if you just pull the, you just lift the intake up and crank them out from there as opposed to going under the car. I'm sure you could get it from there, but um, that sucks. So, not too bad, got everything out. Um, like I said, I do have new coolant hoses, so I'm gonna be changing out uh, those two hoses that go into the firewall right there, um, as well as um, you know the rest of the little coolant hoses too. I have just about all of them in my kit. But right here is where the uh, water pipe mounts uh, to the side of the intake there. And that looks like it's a little corroded, so I'm probably going to end up decking that and trying to either find a gasket for that, because I don't think there was one. Uh, I'm not sure if that's maybe been taken off before or what. But, yeah, we're going to try to figure that out, maybe use some gasket maker. Um, but, yeah, this thing's looking pretty disassembled here. There's uh, It's a lot taken apart, so I'm just going to try to keep everything straight here. I think I'm going to tear down the intake over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take off all the hoses and everything because I'm going to try to clean this up and uh, give it a nice coat of paint. So I'm going to take off the EGR too, which is this plate right here. Um, that's where, see this is the EGR valve right there. And that lets uh, some of the exhaust gases into the intake to keep your NOx down and uh, fuel economy. It's helpful for that too and some other stuff. But uh, yeah, those usually get clogged. So I'm going to take that plate off and I'm going to see if each of the individual four ports are all clogged full of carbon. Um, I'm assuming they will be. I'll be shocked if they're not. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. Um, maybe take the top part off of the bottom here. Um, I think I'll leave the throttle body on because the gasket kit I got comes with a new gasket for that. So might as well take it off, just disassemble the whole thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to pick away at this thing here and uh, clean it up, see if we can get some paint on it. So I took off all of those 10 millimeter bolts there and that took off the whole EGR plate. So this, this top plate comes off here and then uh, you can take this guy off, which is all full of carbon. Like this plate is like full of carbon, but that's not really the issue. Here. Um, these guys in here, 
see if I can get the camera to focus. Those are what are full of carbon. So I've already cleaned this out a little bit. It's difficult for you to see in there, I'm sure. But these guys right here are almost clogged. They're not clogged. If they were clogged, I might have a check engine light. But uh, yeah, EGR, you know, it just lets some of your exhaust gases into this little valve right here, which, uh, you know, connects to your exhaust and it's going to send in right here into that little plate there and then it sends exhaust gas into each of your cylinders. Um, it helps to keep uh, combustion temperature down. So that's always a good thing. So we're going to clean out the EGR section there. I'm going to pull off the EGR valve, uh, this hose, uh, mass airflow sensor. Um, yeah, just anything I can take off of here without too much trouble. I'm going to separate the upper piece from the lower piece. And yeah, just strip this thing down and then I'm probably going to pressure wash it. Um, I might hit it with some degreaser and a wire brush and then pressure wash it. And then uh, we'll slap some paint on it. So I went ahead and pressure washed both of these pieces after scrubbing them down really good. Both of the intake pieces and the little EGR cover there. And yeah, I hit them with a can of high heat primer. It's like some, uh, it's like some engine paint, some Rust-Oleum stuff here. It's nice. I painted my transmission with it when I had the transmission out doing the clutch. So I decided I'd use the same paint on the intake, and I'm gonna use it on the head when I get it back from the machine shop. But this is crazy. This is like a little overboard. But you know what? It's just a little bit extra work for me. And when it's all said and done, uh, everything's gonna look really good with a fresh coat of paint. So I'm waiting for this primer to dry up a little bit, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and hit it with uh, a little bit of that silver that I painted the transmission, but yeah, these parts are looking really good. I mean, I taped off the stuff that I thought I needed to, and uh, everything else is going to look super good when it's all painted silver. It's going to look like a brand new intake, so pretty stoked about that. Um, yeah, should freshen it up a bit. So this is what everything looks like after getting the aluminum paint on it. That's the paint color it's called aluminum taped off all the necessary stuff so yeah it looks pretty good I'm happy with it it looks like a new intake so it's pretty nice I may or may not uh, deck the surfaces this one looks to be okay um, but the intake surface here I might try to get something flat and a piece of uh, 220 sandpaper and just deck this just to try to get rid of the little areas like that down there that are kind of nasty looking just so the new uh, intake gasket seats good um, but yeah other than that came out looking really good I'm happy I can't wait till it all goes back together and gets in the car it's gonna look really mint but yeah hope you guys like it I'm definitely a fan looks really good beats by a new intake but it looks like a new intake so works for me budget I've got more stuff to do on the car um, I went to go get the cylinder head today and it was not yet ready, so I'm going to go ahead and go again tomorrow. Should be ready tomorrow. Um, the guy says he's going to get to it tonight or tomorrow morning, so should be all set there. I still have to do the uh, clean up the valves, and I did a little bit of work over here cleaning up the pistons, um, you know, just because, you know, it looks cool to have clean pistons, but that one's not too clean, but... They look a lot better than they did. They were all carboned up. They had like uh, looked like barnacles on them. So got rid of all that. A little bit of brake clean and a wire brush, and I cleaned the engine block here. A little bit of uh, Scotch Brite just to clean everything up, and uh, cleaned off the fuel injectors because they were pretty nasty too. All full of uh, I don't know sludge it looked like, but uh, I guess it's probably just. Uh, yeah, probably a sludge or like carbon and oil. But uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned, guys. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have more content coming soon. I'm going to be cleaning these valves. So I'm going to go ahead and get my bench grinder. It's got a wire wheel on it and some safety glasses. And I'm probably going to find a good spot to do this because there's going to be carbon everywhere. But yeah, we got all the valves sitting out here, nice and labeled. Um, Oops, got hooked on the vise. What I'm going to do is, one at a time, take these out. Um, probably leave the springs and everything here, but I'll take these valves out of the cardboard. And... It's going to fall. Oh, well. But I'm going to clean off... You can see there where it's uh, metal. 
that's where it kind of rides on the valve seal and uh, gets hit with oil. Um, but I'm just going to go through and clean all this crud off the bottom. This is the exhaust side, so it's got the same stuff the pistons had on it. Um, just some carbon deposits and stuff, but I'm going to clean this all up and then uh, put it back in its home and then we know uh, where all the valves go and we don't mess anything up. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my bench grinder out. So I got my first valve here. Um, this is our uh, nice before picture. And I'll get you a nice after. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see how this thing goes. Hopefully the camera doesn't vibrate too much on this table. much cleaner than it was I mean that's like night and day difference right there um, I am gonna relap these valves in so after that they should uh, they should seal really well but uh, yeah I could go further but I think that's pretty much good I mean I got all the carbon off so I think that's gonna be a little bit left in the in the little X there showing that it's an exhaust valve but yeah I might hit that a little more but I have 16 or 15 more of these to do, so I'm gonna get to work here. This is probably gonna take me a while. So that's gonna be it for me. Got all my valves cleaned. Took me quite a while on that bench grinder there, but got them all cleaned. Cleaned off all the springs of all the oil on there and everything too, so we should be looking pretty good. Just gotta wait on getting the head back and then we can go ahead and slap these back in. And then, uh, well, we're going to lap them first, and then we can put them back in.